stinking amazing packaging. That's a party right there. Know what I mean? Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got some Sephora VIB recommendations for you today. So what I've done for this video, cause I've done these in the past. So check out my other videos like Sephora VIB recommendation videos to see other products that I love from Sephora. But what I did this time is I kind of gathered things that I've been really enjoying like more recently. So kind of more recent discoveries and or things that I'm just really grabbing for more recently. So. I'm not going to cover every single brand, I'm not going to cover every single category, but I did pick some things and I am going to group them by category, just to keep it a little bit more organized. So yeah, a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. So I actually have four different foundations that I picked out, and some of these have been longtime favorites, some of them more recent, but I've just been enjoying all four of these recently. So first off, the Lancome Tintai Doll Ultra 24 Hour Makeup, just the liquid one. This is in 210 Buff. And then also I've been really liking the stick version too. And this is also in 210 Buff. Um, just beautiful finish on it. Really good coverage. Um, long wearing. Just a great never fail me foundation. This is one of my very, very favorites of any foundations. I love this one. This one more recently I've just been enjoying because it's easy. And it's quick to just kind of like swipe it on. And it's just quick and fast. I'm kind of like getting a little bit low on it. That's like the one negative about it is that it runs out kind of quickly. But this one doesn't seem quite as long wearing as the liquid to me, but still very long wearing. So I love both of those. Now that It Cosmetics is at Sephora, I definitely want to mention their CC cream. Now this is the giant one from like QVC or something, but I mean they have the regular size of Sephora. And I love this. It is so nice, um, really good coverage. Just great ingredients, high SPF. I feel like this is the one that's just like good for my skin. I feel like when I'm using this product, I feel like I'm getting skincare benefits, but also getting good coverage. So it's makeup and skincare, which is kind of what It Cosmetics is all about. So I love this. It's so good. It's one of my go-tos. And then also I've been really enjoying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup, and I have it in 2C3 Fresco. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, I was kind of surprised how much I like this. It's really like a pretty kind of radiant makeup, but still long wearing. Now I do look radiant and kind of oily later in the day. I start out kind of like radiant, a little bit glowy. I get a little bit more glowy and then I get a little bit oily, but it doesn't break down on me. So I really do like that about it. And I think especially if you had normal to dry skin, you would really love this, but I'm kind of combo oily and it still works for me. So I would just say, maybe not if you're super oily, like just full on oily, um, then you might not, you know, it might not work for you. But I think everybody else, I think it would work. And you might just have to do a little bit of blotting if you're kind of more like me and combo oily, but I like it. A lot. I have one powder to mention, and mine looks disgusting because I use it a lot. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation, and I wear it in Light 2 Mont Blanc, and I just love this powder. I mean, it's just a beautiful finish to it. I mainly use this to set my um, T-zone, especially like my under eyes. It's just very natural looking and it doesn't settle into pores. It just seems to kind of like blur everything. And I wouldn't call it luminous. I would just call it natural. It just looks like skin. It's so beautiful. I remember when I first got this in gratis, I was like, I don't know if that's gonna work because it says luminous. And the liquid version of the All Day Luminous is a no for me, but I love this powder. It's one of my very favorites. So I was thinking through blush and I really couldn't think of a lot that I haven't already mentioned in other videos or other recommendation videos, but this one I feel like is a semi more recent discovery for me and I just love it. It's not a new one that I know of, but I love it. This is NARS's Taos, T-A-O-S and it's just a beautiful warm color and it's intensely pigmented but it's beautiful i just have to be super careful with it let me show you a little swatch of it i mean i have to be careful with this but this is so pretty <laughs> this looks so intense in a swatch but it's absolutely gorgeous it's just a really warm kind of like reddish 
sort of a blush color. I feel like it's really unique. And I do wear this by itself, but sometimes I'll wear it with kind of like more of a bronzy nude sort of a blush color and then just pop a little bit of this on like the apples of my cheeks. It's so, so beautiful. Today I'm wearing um, Benefit's Hervana, which is also one of my longtime favorites. I love Dandelion, I love Rock Tour. I love so many Benefit blushes. There's, I love the Clinique Cheek Pops. There's a bunch of blushes I could have mentioned, but I feel like I've already kind of talked about a lot of them. But this one is a more kind of recent falling in love with it situation. Know what I mean? Highlighters, I really love these Urban Decay ones. These are the Afterglow highlighters. And today I'm wearing a combo of Aura and Fireball. I love that they have the little like colors on the back. It makes them easy to grab for. But these are just so pretty. They're like, I don't know, really kind of like buttery and they build on themselves nicely. So Fireball is kind of more of like a peachy, orangey golden kind of a highlight. It's really unique and one that I didn't think would necessarily work for me, but I love it. And combined, I think these are just so beautiful. Let me show you swatches of them both. So there is Fireball and there is Aura. And then there's also Sin, which is absolutely gorgeous. Like that one's just a great staple champagne golden sort of a color. Um, but I just really like these. I feel like they um, build on themselves nicely. They wear well. Um, they just like blend into the skin so beautifully. So, so pretty. And like they, both of these colors look really nice with like a pinky sort of a blush color. But this one also looks pretty with like a bronzy, warm sort of a blush too. They're all beautiful. I love them all. And the packaging is really pretty on it too. I think you can kind of like see through the top. So pretty. And probably no surprise whatsoever, I have a lot of things in the eye and lip categories because those are my two favorite categories of makeup. So I have a lot of things to talk about in those two categories. So I don't know if this is gonna be back in stock, but if it is, I would say absolutely grab it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. You've probably heard everybody talking about this. And it's because it's absolutely incredible. Like one of my absolute favorite palettes ever if not quite possibly my favorite. I don't know, it's at least in the top three because this is just absolutely incredible. The quality is amazing, the colors are beautiful, it wears like crazy, it's just so good. Too Faced Holiday always sucks me in and I've really been enjoying this one. This is the Chocolate Shop. This is the one that came in the big box. Um, this is not the one that came in the little house thing. That one's cute packaging, but quality wise, I like this one better. Um, you get a lot of shadows in here. I have a whole video on this. So if you want to see swatches and hear more of my thoughts, check out that video. But I think this is a nice one. I find myself grabbing for this palette a lot. This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. And it just has like stinking amazing packaging. And I absolutely love it. I just want to stare at it because it's so pretty. And it's basically just a collection of all matte except for one shadow. All matte warm tone sort of a palette. Like today I'm wearing this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, but then I have like another color on my lid. So it's a great sort of palette for multiple things. I mean, it can be a good like companion palette, a good great basics palette. Like if you want to do, I love the basic palettes from Urban Decay. Like when I want a dramatic lip, I just know that there's like good subtle sort of shadows in there, but then there's also, you know, like this darker sort of shade. I mean, you can absolutely do a smoky eye with it too. So I feel like it's very versatile. It's a good basics palette. It's good to combine with other shadows, like glittery shadows, shimmery shadows, metallic shadows, whatever, or just a whole matte eye look. So super duper versatile. I'm really enjoying it. I just can't get over this packaging. That's just stinking amazing. And if you're like me and you love a shimmery shadow, look no further than these two products. The Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos are beautiful. They are a little bit high maintenance to use. They're a little bit messy because it's got the two different sides, like the liquidy side and then the glittery side, but these are so beautiful. Let me show you Lottie really quick. This one's Lottie. It's kind of like a purpley taupey kind of color. So you've got your like liquidy side 
your base. You could wear this by itself if you wanted to. So you've got your base. Let me show you the two different parts. Let me just swatch it and then I'll show you. Okay, so liquidy side, liquidy side with the glitter on top. Amazing, amazing, so beautiful. This one's my favorite. This other one that I have is, I think Talia. Yeah, Talia. I really like this one too, but Lottie is definitely the standout favorite for me. Oh my gosh, they're just so glittery and amazing. And then the Moon Dust um, palette. Oh my gosh, I love these shadows by themselves. So the Moon Dust shadows individually are amazing. I love Diamond Dog. That's one of my very favorites. It's kind of like a bronzy sort of color. But if you just want like a whole palette of options, this one's beautiful. Like I have this color on my lid today. And these are just shimmery, glittery, dramatic. I would say use them with some kind of like a glitter glue, a mixing medium, because that's really how they're going to be um, easier to use and just prettier. I mean, I feel like that just kind of like gives them their full potential. I don't know what that is. That's leftover from the Urban Decay palette. So don't mind the pinky that has nothing to do with the Moon Dust palette. <laughs> but these shadows, oh my goodness. They're so pretty. I mean, this is like a party time palette. I mean, just, just a party. That's a party right there. So beautiful. This one I think is just like really nice and complimentary with um, the Fireball highlight. This one in the lightest pink color from the palette just makes a really beautiful makeup look. So yeah, there's some great shimmery options of shadows in Sephora, but those are some of my standout favorites. And also because It Cosmetics is at Sephora now, I have to mention the Superhero Mascara to y'all because this is my new favorite mascara, like in the last, I don't know, since I tried it, it's become my new favorite. It is just amazing. I feel like this gives the closest look to wearing false lashes without wearing false lashes because I don't like false lashes. <laughs> so I like a mascara that can at least get me close to that look. Now this is a thick, gloopy sort of formula. So if you get this mascara, go into it knowing that. Now when you first get it, you may not notice it, but as you use a little bit, I mean, it just, a lot of product comes out. So what I do is I like wipe it off on the sides. I just use the least amount possible and I'm really careful with how I apply it and make sure that I kind of like go all directions with my lashes. Like I'll apply this direction and then I'll apply it this direction and then up. And so it kind of like moves the product around versus like right in one spot. So if you get kind of the application down and how to work with a kind of thicker formula, it just gives amazing volume, amazing length. It just makes your lashes look incredible. It does smudge a little bit on me, most every mascara does, pretty much every mascara except for CoverGirl mascaras. So this does smudge a little bit up on my eyelid, but not a ton. And it's so worth it because it's so amazing. Lip products, I would definitely recommend the Bite Beauty lipsticks, the um, Use Bouche lipsticks, and also the Multi Sticks from them. Um, some standouts for me in the Amuse Amuse Bouche, Amuse Bouche lipsticks are Sugarcane and Radish, but I mean, I love all of them that I've gotten. They are just beautiful. They're creamy, they're comfortable, they're long wearing, they're more natural, they're food grade ingredients, so you could eat them off your lips if you just felt so inclined. They're just a good natural lipstick. I mean, just good. And I'm so impressed with how they wear. The wear time on them is so good, like when you first put them on, you wouldn't think that because this one is sugarcane and this one is radish. You wouldn't think that because it looks glossy and it feels so hydrating on the lips, but it really does hang around. Love it so much. These are amazing and there's a ton of different colors in the line. And then the multi sticks, a standout for me is almond. This one is so pretty for fall. It's just a really dark, warm, chocolatey brown color. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like a brick terracotta sort of a brown. I absolutely love it. These are a little bit drier feeling, but I think still comfortable on the lips. I think they're a little bit more on the dry side because they're meant to be used on the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. So, you know, I think that they were factoring in eyes get a little bit more oily, so it can't be, you know, 
like this sort of a formula used on your eyes, but they're just so good. And again, they have a ton of different colors in the line and fancy, nice packaging, like magnetic. It's just, they're good. And then y'all know how I fell in love with these. These are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Colors. These are so good. A couple of colors that I have here, this one is Hemp and this one is Friendship and I've got them swatched here. So this one is Hemp and this one is Friendship. I just love the formula on these first and foremost and the scent. They smell like brownie batter or just like a yummy chocolatey dessert. They smell incredible and the formula is incredible. They're just more comfortable and hydrating feeling on the lips. They are not transfer proof. They're not your traditional liquid lipstick. They're not like, I don't know, traditional liquid lipsticks, they're sticking there, they're there. Then when they start to wear away, it's like, it's either there or it's completely gone. And that's where you get that weird line, you know? These don't do that. They like, they transfer a little bit, they move a little bit, but they don't move too much, but they're still long wearing, but they're not as drying. They're just really great. So if you are not a fan of liquid lipsticks because you feel like they're too drying, you just don't like them, I would say give these a try because they're totally different in my opinion. They're just a completely different kind of product and I love them. And they have a lot of different like nudie brown everyday sort of colors in the line. And then what I've been wearing throughout this video, this is also from the Too Faced Holiday Collection. This is the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick in Candy Cane. Now this is more of your traditional liquid lipstick, but I would say it's not the most drying and it doesn't do the line super obviously. Like, I feel like this one wears away a little bit more gradually, but it does feel more like a liquid lipstick. You know what I mean? So it doesn't do that intense line quite as badly. Another color I have, I feel like it does it a little bit more. Bend and Snap, I feel like it does a little bit more on that one. But I don't notice it as bad with this particular color. Um, so anyway, I do like the formula pretty well, but it is more of your traditional liquid lipstick. I also love the Melteds from Too Faced. I also love Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and Sweet Tea Bronzer. I could have gone on and on about Too Faced products because I love so many of their products but I had to pick some like current standout favorites, but I use a chocolate Soleil pretty much every single day or at least several times a week. So anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. This product, beautiful packaging, smells amazing. This smells like um, peppermint mocha. It's so yummy. And this is just a beautiful holiday red. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. It is dramatic, it's a statement lip, but it's girly and just, I mean, a perfect pinky red. I love this so much. And just the little packaging, it's so cute. And then the scent is an added bonus. So I think I have three different ones from this line. So I, th I would say it's less about the actual like melted mattes while I do like them. I'd say it's less about those, more about this specific product, like the packaging, the scent, the color, all of it. All right guys, so those are all my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please leave a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you are eyeing for this sale or if you have recommendations for other people in the comments section. Let us all know, I think that's always helpful. I would love to hear your suggestions. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.